Hello students. Welcome to chapter 11 12. In this chapter, we will learn about a verb plus preposition plus object. For example, he called on them. Verb plus particle plus object. For example, he called them up. b adverbials of purpose. For example, he went to buy some books. C. Adverbials of means. For example, he came by playing. Adverbials of instrument. For example, he wrote with a pen. Notice the position of the pronoun them, in relation to the preposition on, and the particle up. For example, the teacher called on the students. He called on them. The teacher called up the students. He called them up. With prepositional expressions, like call on, the pronoun object must follow the preposition. With particle expressions, like call up, the pronoun object must be placed before the particle. Common prepositions are, on, at, to, from, for, of, and into. Common particles are, up, down, on, off, in, out, away, back, and over. Short noun phrases may also precede particles. For example, the teacher called John up. Illustrative examples Prepositions Look at the book. Look at it. Talk to Mary. Talk to her. Listen to John. Listen to him. Look for the pencils. Look for them. Ask for the package. Ask for it. Wait for Mr. Miller. Wait for him. Think of his name. Think of it. Particles. Fill out the form. Fill it out. Give back the papers. Give them back. Hand in the homework. Hand it in. Hand out the papers. Hand them out. Leave out the number. Leave it out. Look over the lesson. Look it over. Look up the new words. Look them up. Put away the books. Put them away. Put on your shoes. Put them on. Put out the cigarette. Put it out. Put up your hand. Put it up. Pick up the paper. Pick it up. Take off your glasses. Take them off. Talk over the lesson. Talk it over. Throw away the paper. Throw it away. Turn on the lights. Turn them on. Turn off the radio. Turn it. Off. Wake up Mr. Smith. Wake him up. Write down the answer. Write it down. Some of the verb plus particle expressions have common synonyms. For example, fill out, complete, look over, examine, give back, return. Put out, extinguish. Hand in, submit. Talk over, discuss. Hand out, distribute. Throw away, discard. Give out, distribute. Write down, make a note of. Leave out, omit. Exercise 1. Practice the use of particles. Did you wake up Mr. Miller? No, I'll wake him up in five minutes. Did you hand in your homework? No, I'll hand it in in five minutes. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise.
Exercise 2. Particles. Did John turn on the radio? No, he'll turn it on in five minutes. Did the teacher hand out the papers? No, he'll hand them out in five minutes. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 3. Particles. Did John turn on the radio? Yes, he turned it on five minutes ago. Did the teacher hand out the papers? Yes, he handed them out five minutes ago. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 4. Practice the use of both prepositions and particles. Include an adverbial of time in the response. Did George call up Mr. Miller? Yes, he called him up yesterday. Did George look at the new book? Yes, he looked at it last night. Did George think of the answer? Yes, he thought of it a minute ago. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Notice the adverbials of purpose. Why did John go to the store? In order, to plus verb expression. John went to the store, in order, to buy some books. For plus noun phrase. John went to the store for some books. Exercise 5. Practice the use of to, with verbs, and for, with nouns. He came to get the books. 4. He came for the books. The concert. He came for the concert. Hear the concert. He came to hear the concert. Study English. He came to study English. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 6. Listen to the statement. The first student will change it to a question with why. The second student will give a short answer. John went to the store for some milk. Student A. Why did John go to the store? 
Student B. For some milk. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Notice the adverbial expressions. Previous pattern. Lesson 9a. For example. How does John speak? He speaks clearly. How does he write? He writes well. New patterns. For example. How did John come? He came by plane. How did he send the letter? He sent it by airmail. Illustrative examples. Similar to pattern A. For example, they sent the news by radio. She came to class by taxi. We communicated by telephone. He's going to Europe by ship. They travel by land or by sea. Similar to pattern B. For example, He opened the door with a key. Mary took some pictures with her new camera. Mrs. Miller answered with a smile. Mr. Miller answered with a nod. Exercise 7. Answer the questions using the suggested words. Use by plus noun, or with plus noun phrase, in your answer. For example, How did John come? Train. He came by train. How did he close the door? His foot. He closed it, with his foot. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 8. Give full answers to the questions. Use the suggested verb phrase. How did John learn English? Practice constantly. He learned English by practicing constantly. How did John find Mr. Miller's address? Look in the telephone book. He found Mr. Miller's address by looking in the telephone book. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 9. Summary exercise. Change the statement to a question, with how, or why. A second student, will give a short answer. John went to Chicago by train. Student A. How did John go to Chicago? Student B. By train. John found the museum, by asking a policeman. Student B. How did John find the museum? Student C. 
by asking a policeman. John went downtown for some books. Student C. Why did John go downtown? Student D. For some books. John called up Mary in order to ask her a question. Student D. Why did John call up Mary? Student E. In order to ask her a question. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Well done students. You have finished chapter 11 12. I hope you enjoy it and keep practicing. See you again. Bye.